Today we are going to take our creativity to the next level using some amazing plugins built by our friends over at Boris Effects. We're going to be taking a look at the stylized unit from their new packs that they put out for Final Cut Pro. And the best part is it is a single one-time purchase, no subscriptions, and you get all of the updates that are to come. Now the stylized unit includes smear blur, film glow, film grain, camera shake, light, light leaks, rays, prism, video glitch, and they all include mocha masking. Now this video definitely doesn't have enough time to get into all of those, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorites from this pack. So I have this first shot of this photographer taking some amazing photos here on the beach, but I wanna add some depth to the scene. It looks like it should be a little bit mistier maybe, maybe there should be some light rays, and that is where the first effect comes in, BCC plus rays. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag that from my effects onto the shot, and now you can see how this scene has some really beautiful light rays. If I just click and drag this on-screen control, you can see how these light rays are shifting around in the scene, giving it this really cool 3D look. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this in a way that looks natural to the scene. Then from there, we can come over to the right side and find this effects editor button. We can see all of these presets that are built in for us. Now, I'm not gonna bother with those. I'm just gonna start from scratch. So I'll go ahead and close this out. We'll scroll on down. We can change stuff like the blend mode. We can also change the position here, of course, and that is key frameable, by the way. Then we can also change the length. So if I click and drag this down, we can move those rays down a little bit, and maybe we'll wanna bring down the brightness just so it's a little bit more subtle. Then we could shift the color. If we wanted maybe a warmer look, we could drag this over into the oranges. We also have the ability to add in a light source. So with this light source, I can bring up the scale and then from there I'll bring up the brightness. And so we can now see the light source is kind of wrapping around the rocks here. And I think it looks really, really nice. It looks like the sun is glowing, maybe giving us a little bit of a lens flare. You could set that as large as you want and drag it down, maybe turn it into a light leak, something like that. We also have the ability to affect the shimmer. So if I drag that up, you'll see how the edges on the light rays here actually get a little bit stronger. So you can bring those up how you like, but something that's really cool is the phase. So if I drag the phase all the way to negative 360, then we move forward in the shot, we can animate the phase. So now the sun is going to be lightly shimmering through the rocks, which I think looks really nice. It's very subtle, but it adds a lot to the shot. There's a ton of power in using these light rays on your scene and it adds a lot of depth to the scene, makes it look a lot more epic than maybe it was the day that you shot it. So one more thing we could do to this shot to make it look just a little bit more real is add in some camera shake. The built-in handheld effect in Final Cut Pro is very, very limited. I've got it applied here on the scene. It's got some really robotic looking camera shake. I'm just not a fan of it. You can adjust the distance and the shakiness and those are the two options that you have for this effect. And you can actually see where it resets because it's not a very long looping effect. That is why I really, really love the BCC camera shake. So if we apply that under BCC lens, we'll go ahead and apply this onto our scene. We can jump on into the effects editor. And over here on the left side, you'll see that there's a bunch of presets. I'll go ahead and select smooth settle. That happens to be my favorite and we'll push apply. And now we've got a really great naturalistic looking camera shake applied onto our scene. So that's just a quick look at the camera shake. You have a bunch of options you can enable here, including motion blur to make it look that much more realistic, but I'm not gonna mess with those just yet because we gotta keep this video moving on. Now the next effect I'm gonna cover is possibly my favorite out of this entire pack, and that is the BCC plus video glitch. Let's go ahead and apply the BCC plus video glitch from the BCC stylized category. Now as it is, the effect is really cool, but what if I wanted this applied only in the background behind this girl? Maybe capturing a little bit of the edges of her face, but mostly behind her. To do that, we could use the powerful mocha masking tools built into this plugin. So with it applied on Onto our scene, we can go into the Mocha Mask button here. Now that we have Mocha open, let's go ahead and do a quick mask around our actress. So I'm gonna actually select the Magnetic Tool and this is just gonna automatically line out our actress. Now I'm gonna start with just her shoulders here, something like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and create another mask. So we'll click and draw around her head here. 
So now I have a mask around her entire body. Let's go ahead and enable perspective. Then we can go ahead and track forward. Perfect, now we have our mask all set. I'm just gonna push Command S, that will save it and push it into Final Cut Pro. So now that we're back in Final Cut Pro, we're gonna locate the pixel chooser slash mocha effect. And from here, we can find stuff like the mask feather, which we can adjust, but more importantly, is the invert mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now if I change the pixel chooser over to mask unchosen pixels, we can see this red area where our selection is made. I can actually bring down this feather point somewhere in there. That's looking pretty good. Now we can go ahead and push this back over into the pixel chooser on. So now if we watch this video, you can see how the backdrop is actually glitching out while our actress is staying completely normal. We could then jump into the effects editor so I'm gonna go ahead and select Shift Thin Heavy, and then over here on the right side, we can push Apply. Now it's gonna take a bit for Final Cut Pro to get this effect, so just wait it out, but once you do, the effect is totally worth it. So if we play this out, we can see how the effect is not affecting our talent, but it is affecting the background, and I think this looks really, really cool. This can be a very powerful visual storytelling device, so that is why I'm so excited about the BCC video glitch effect. Now the last effect I'm gonna show you using the stylized unit is BCC Plus Light. And what this does is it enables you to bring in a gobo into your scene. Now a gobo in the film world is usually a dark plate that is used to shape the light and it's really, really fun having this as an effect you can apply on your videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag BCC Plus Light. So now that I've applied it, you can actually see how it's simulating the effect of a window on this woman here. Before I get into any of the masking, something that's very, very powerful with this is the displacement features. So I'm gonna go to the right side and find this displacement slider. By clicking and dragging that, you can see how it actually is warping around her face. So what this does is it actually makes the light look much more three-dimensional and real in our video. Let's go ahead and apply some masks so that this is only on the parts of the scene that we want. We'll go ahead and go into the Mocha Mask features. Then we can go ahead and select our X-Spline tool and we'll just click and create masks over the areas that we want this effect to show up. Something like that. I also want it to show up on her cheek over here on this side. Go ahead and track forward. So now all of our masks are tracked. We can push Command S to save it and close that out. And so now you'll see how the gobo is actually just within those mask areas, but it's definitely got too sharp of an edge. So let's jump into the pixel chooser mocha settings, and then we'll go into the mask. And in here, we can drag up the feather on our mask just like so. So now it's looking much more natural to the scene. Now from there, we can scroll on down and we'll change the blend mode from add over to screen. But what's really cool is you can see how the effect is actually applied onto her cheek here on the right and it's warped around her face in a way that's very natural looking. Of course, you can just adjust stuff like the brightness to your taste. You can adjust the blur amounts. Now, if these window shades aren't quite cutting it for you and if you want something more natural, maybe some tree branches or a church window or something like that, you can go on into the effects editor here and within the effects editor, you'll see that there are hundreds of different gobos to use and it's all completely up to you. So so maybe if we shift this over to glass, you'll see how there's still this nice light texture happening, or you could go on even further down. And again, they all warp with that displacement map, making it that much more natural. I kind of like this stone slate look, so we'll go ahead and push apply. And now that will be applied in our scene. It's very, very subtle, but if we bring up the brightness just a little bit, we can see it a little better on her face. And again, that's all being warped around. So here is before, and here is after. So this video was just barely scratching the surface of everything you can do with the Boris Effects stylized unit. There's other glow effects and blur effects and prism effects. So make sure you use the links down below to check those out and see if there's something that works for you. Also, there are two other really powerful units from Boris Effects for Final Cut Pro, the Transitions unit and the Color Essentials unit. So make sure you check those out as well. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.